World of Warcraft. Console gamers have been waiting for this game to come out on the Xbox and the PlayStation for quite some time. Now that Xbox owns Blizzard and of course Activision, have the chances increased? Let's have a look right after this. World of Warcraft is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. It started back in 2004 by Blizzard Entertainment. This is a game that hit 12 million subscribers back in 2010, grossing in close to $10 billion in revenue within that time frame. It is a game that you purchase for your PC and then pay a monthly subscription fee to gain access to it to play online. It has seen numerous updates and changes throughout the years but has unfortunately only been on the PC. Gamers have been asking for this game to console and unfortunately Blizzard has not granted that wish for all of us that are waiting for it to come out. It has spawned a movie, it has also has a new animated series coming out as well. So the biggest question on gamers minds is World of Warcraft coming to Game Pass. Now if World of Warcraft is added to Game Pass, would this force them to create a multi-tiered system where you pay the base price to get regular Game Pass Ultimate and then having a Game Pass Ultimate Plus that grants you access to World of Warcraft, possibly even Ubisoft subscription service as well and maybe other ones that exist at that time. For a company like Microsoft or any other company that purchases an entity like Blizzard Entertainment, including World of Warcraft, that is generating a lot of revenue on a monthly basis from gamers slash subscribers that pay this fee to gain access to just one game. It is very rare for a company to destroy that model that's generating so much revenue and has lots of potential to grow upon and to scrap it to the wayside. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer also threw in, the company doesn't intend on making vast changes to the established norms of Activision Blizzard's popular titles. He also added, upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we possibly can within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass, both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog. So yes, it's true, many of these games from Activision and Blizzard will appear on Game Pass. But the fact that World of Warcraft operates on its own, it may not work out together with Game Pass as we all hope. Fine, it can work independently, but what about World of Warcraft on consoles? Although it's something that many of us are hoping, there is still a strong chance, even if Microsoft slash Xbox owns this entity, that it can remain on the PC going forward for quite some time. Look at Age of Empires, owned by Microsoft, still sitting on PC with a little glimmer of hope that it may appear on Xbox. Can it happen? Of course it can. Look at Flight Simulator, a long multi-year established simulator on the PC finally made its way to the Xbox and it's amazing. It looks great, plays great and we're glad that it's on console. So do we want to play Age of Empires on the console on Xbox? Yes. Do we want World of Warcraft to appear as well? Of course. All gamers can do at this time is wait and hope. Now keep in mind this deal, Xbox buying Activision Blizzard, doesn't fully go into effect until June, not this year, but of 2023. So the games will be added to Game Pass at that time. And if there's any glimmer of hope for World of Warcraft coming to consoles, it most likely won't be until way after that. But one can still hope and wish that it becomes a reality way before that. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.